Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to your daily day weather video weather update for this Wednesday, December 23rd. We're going to take a close look at holiday travel weather for the Rockies and the High Plains and most notably around Wyoming. Satellite imagery shows a continued uh, fetch of moisture coming in off the Pacific. We've seen a lot of snow in Wyoming's mountains here over the last week. Snowpacks in Wyoming have really grown. We have many snowpack areas now that are getting close to or even a bit above normal. The system we're going to be watching for Christmas time is right here. That swirl of clouds is going to be heading down the California coast and will be moving into this part of the California area by Christmas Eve and then swinging northeast across the Rockies like this by Christmas Day. And this is going to lead to some increasing chances for Christmas snow, a white Christmas. The jet stream is going to carve out the low, and this is the forecast for Christmas morning. We have the surface low in southwest Colorado here. We're going to get some upslope, and there's also a lot of very cold Canadian air coming in on the backside of the system. Like the last significant storm, this one doesn't have a lot of water with it, but the combination of very cold temperatures and some upslope and some Pacific moisture should be able to produce snow across the region. Now, here is the 72-hour forecast for precipitation. This takes us through Saturday morning. You can see all of the mountain ranges of the west will continue to see the most snow, but this area's snow right here is what's going to be developing Christmas Day. And the snowfall is going to be fairly widespread. And as you can see, most of Wyoming, the exception is places like Sheridan and the Bighorn Basin, will see snow out of this. So we're going to see some travel concerns with light to moderate snowfall Christmas Day, Christmas night. And a lot of this, especially right here, hangs on into the early morning hours of Saturday before moving out. And more significant snow for the southern mountains of Wyoming, Colorado, the western mountains of Wyoming, and the Wasatch Front will be continued to hit by snow. This is how we see things unfolding. For today, travel concerns will be mostly here into the western areas of the state. I-80 in southwestern Wyoming into Salt Lake, into Star Valley, up into the Jackson Hole area, over the mountain passes, South Pass, Togety Pass, Teton Pass will be most impacted. We'll also see some snow showers later today along I-80 here, which will make roads slick with some blowing and drifting. Now, as we get into Christmas Eve, that is the best day for travel. Christmas Eve will still produce some snow shower activity over Wyoming's western mountain areas and along here, but we're going to have a small break. So for travelers, Thursday, Christmas Eve is the best day. On Christmas Day, by Christmas morning, snow will be developing in this area by sunrise on Friday. By noontime Friday, snow will expand up through Casper and get up towards the Gillette area and here. And this area's snow on Christmas Day will cause areas of slick roads. By Saturday morning, areas of light snow could still be found in this area here before clearing out by Saturday afternoon. So here are our highlights coming up. Winds are going to slowly diminish, especially along the I-80 corridor in central Wyoming, although they're still going to be gusty. Occasional snow in southwest and southern Wyoming today into early tomorrow. Nothing too heavy, but watch out for slick spots. The best travel days tomorrow, Christmas Eve. Take advantage of it. A white Christmas is likely and very cold. Snow chances are going to be the highest in the central, the south, and the east. Snowfall amounts aren't going to be heavy probably in the neighborhood of two to five inches with heavier mounts over and near the mountain areas. It's going to be very cold. High temperatures this Christmas weekend may not leave the teens and lower 20s could even see some sub-zero nights. If you have to travel, do so safely and check with latest road reports for heading on out. I'm meteorologist Don Day.